Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the creepiest beasts, demons, and other entities across various mythologies. We'll be leaving creatures from singular works of literature like Cthulhu and modern cryptids like Mothman for another list. That's right. Number 20. Minotaur Is that the Minotaur? Once the attacks start, they never let up. This half-man, half-bull has struck fear into many hearts for ages. After all, this is not a creature that regular humans can outrun or overpower. With tremendous strength, agility, and a primal rage that pretty much cannot be quelled, the Minotaur is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> He also had a habit of eating people. Kept imprisoned in King Minos of Crete's shadowy labyrinth, the Minotaur was actually the result of a punishment from Poseidon. Minos ordered Daedalus to build the Great Maze to contain the beast. According to Greek myth, Theseus bested the Minotaur, with some navigational help from the king's daughter, Ariadne. Number 19. Jorogumo <laughs> If you find regular spiders scary enough, you better hope you don't get caught up in a Jorogumo's web. This entity from Japanese folklore tends to appear to victims under the guise of a beautiful woman. But once a Jorogumo gets your attention, it quickly traps you in its inescapable web and poisons you. These seductive spiders have a particular hunger for humans. In one story from the Joran Falls of Izu, a Jorogumo lives as mistress of a waterfall and attempts to drag men to a watery demise. Variations and adaptations of the legend have been said to enchant victims, shapeshift, and breathe fire. Number 18. Amet. My path is set, same as anyone's. I'm here to bring balance. This goddess from Egyptian mythology has the body of a lion, the lower half of a hippo, and the head of a crocodile. If that's not enough to make you bolt straight for the exit, then we're not quite sure what will. Besides being quite the amalgamation of animals, Amit's also known as Devourer of the Dead. When souls being judged in the underworld are deemed impure, it's Amit's job to eat them. To pass judgment and avoid their hearts being on the menu, ancient Egyptians were typically buried with a copy of the Book of the Dead. Your scales lack balance. I understand. Number 17. Gasha Dokuro. Gasha Dokuro might be a group effort, but don't think that makes this monster any less formidable. The Japanese mythical creature is made from the skulls of people who died in the midst of terrible events, typically battle. The vengeful souls of the departed merge to form Gasha Dokuro, a menacing skeletal figure. This giant would then stalk the night in search of humans to eat. Animated by resentment, the creature would stop its reign of terror only when every soul's anger was gone. That task seems a bit easier said than done. Yeah. Yes! Thank goodness that's over. Number 16, Mare. It says here that the Mara visit sleeping humans at night and create nightmares out of their fears. Ever wonder where the word nightmare comes from? We owe it to the Mare a demonic creature from across multiple mythologies that haunts sleeping people. The Mare would essentially break into your home, sit on your chest, and use your fears to give you a chilling dream. A visit from the Mare could also result in tangled hair or attempted strangulation. Sometimes, victims would actually wake up during this experience and be unable to move. Does that make Mare the original sleep paralysis demon? Either way, they've got a fearsome reputation. I was just frozen utterly in terror. Number 15, Nuklavi. Everything about the Nuklavi is gross. The Orcadian demon is said to have a body without any skin and an enormous head, sometimes even two heads. It's also said to have breath so poisonous it could cause plants to wilt and livestock to perish. Sorry, but there aren't enough mints in the world to fix that problem. The Nuklavi is actually a sea demon that takes its monstrous part-horse form when it goes on land. The islander's saving grace is the sea mither, 
an ancient being that contains the beast to the ocean during the summer. Maybe avoid the Northern Isles of Scotland in the off season. For my father. <laughs> For all those that you've slain. For myself. Number 14, Ushioni. Time for the big finish! Roughly translating to ox demon, Ushioni are malevolent Japanese monsters. Accounts about their physical appearance have varied, changing based on where the legends arose. Ushioni are said to have the head of an ox with spider or crab-like bodies. Other legends include wings and tusks. But despite whatever they may look like, they always end up terrorizing people, often appearing near bodies of water including at beaches, rivers, swamps, and pools. They have been said to drain the souls of victims. A face like the Ushioni is absolutely one of the last things you'd want to find when going for a walk or crossing the ocean. I don't know who you are, human, but you just made a big mistake. Number 13, Typhon. Typhon? Typhon! When a creature has been sometimes referred to as the father of all monsters, there's a good chance it's gonna send shivers down your spine. Typhon is no joke. The half-serpent giant has 100 snake heads on his shoulders and has been said to breathe fire. Add flashing eyes and giant wings coming out of his back, and just the sight will cause chaos. With the monster Echidna, Typhon's offspring included multi-headed dogs, the Hydra, and the Chimera. In Greek mythology, a vicious battle with Zeus ends with Typhon cast into Tartarus. His brutal attack sent everyone packing, and Zeus had to face him alone. Number 12, La Llorona. She may not always look as monstrous as other entities in Latin American folklore, such as the livestock-killing chupacabra, but La Llorona can be very dangerous. According to legend, the weeping woman drowned her own children after finding out her husband was unfaithful to her. In some versions of the tale, she then drowns herself. Mothers warn their children not to wander near bodies of water, since they may find a mourning La Llorona. Those who spot her usually see her covered in a white dress and can also hear her weeping loudly. The story has scared kids and adults for generations. Mom, mom, mom. <laughs> Number 11. You should never reveal personal information to people you don't trust. That is especially true when it comes to the Dullahan. According to Irish folklore, this creature can guarantee your death just by saying your name. If that's not enough, the Dullahan is also very physically imposing. It typically rides on a horse and can carry a whip that's fashioned from a human spine. Oh, and it carries around its own severed head. You may be aware of some depictions of the Dullahan as the headless horseman. There's no easy way to say this, but if the Dullahan wants you gone, then you're gone. Wait, he's not off you. I'll get him. Number 10, Hellhound. That's right, follow Buffy, good dog. Demonic canines can be found in stories of cultures from around the globe. Though any big, angry, aggressive dog can be terrifying, the hellhound in any iteration is much, much worse. Closely associated with death wherever it's found. Depending on who you ask, the hellhound can kill you with just a few glances. In other cultures, simply hearing its howl can spell demise. Some versions suck blood, some are as large as a horse, while others actually have shape-shifting abilities. Most cultures seem to agree, however, on the hellhound being extremely strong, fast, and having incredibly foul breath. In the case of Cerberus, you're looking at a three-headed hellhound. Triple yikes. Get back! Number nine, Chimera. Jake, look out! This monstrous creature looks like a science experiment gone wrong. Though there is some variance, the classic Chimera has the head of a lion, an admittedly cool start, a tail with a snake's head on it, again, badass, and a goat's head sticking out of its back. 
yikes. Yeah, that's where it takes a sharp left turn into terror territory and brings to mind David Cronenberg's The Fly. The chimera hails from Greek mythology and counts the aforementioned Cerberus among its siblings. While Cerberus is terrifyingly intimidating, it's the oddness of the chimera that inspires a certain grotesque fear. Of course, its ability to breathe fire and signal impending disaster don't hurt either. Help us! Make us Budman, help us! us! Number 8. Dibbuk. Have you ever heard of a Dibbuk? Mm-mm. It is the soul of a dead person that has been barred from entering heaven. This distinct brand of Jewish ghost is a cut above the rest when it comes to wreaking havoc in a person's life. The slightest religious doubt or misstep makes a body vulnerable to possession by these otherworldly entities. Dybbuk roughly translates to clinging spirit and refers to a malicious ghost that, rather than moving on, latches on to other living things. Should it find its way into the body of a living person, it can have disastrous influence. To avoid catching your very own Dybbuk, avoid purchasing old wine cabinets off of eBay, and be sure to get your mezuzahs from a quality source. Baby, you're hurting me! Mark, stop it! <laughs> Number 7. Dragon These mythic creatures require very little introduction. Sure, you may have fantasized about Khaleesi giving you a dragon of your very own. But though they are indeed awe-inspiring, let's be honest. Would it not be pants-wettingly terrifying to meet one face-to-face? -face? A colossal flying reptilian beast with a nearly impenetrable hide, massive gnashing teeth, and who could forget the ability to breathe fire? How is that not the stuff of nightmares? They are absolutely captivating on screen, but a world in which dragons are real is a world that any sane person would not want to inhabit. Have you seen Reign of Fire? Go watch Reign of Fire. Number 6. Kraken <laughs> Deep sea fishing sure sounds like fun, until you start to contemplate all the water beneath your feet. Honestly, space may be the final frontier, but just think of what might be lurking miles beneath the ocean's surface. You know what? Why bother using your imagination when we could just release the Kraken? It's long been spoken about in hushed voices by sailors of Scandinavian cultures, particularly those coming from Greenland and Norway. The Kraken, in its most popular interpretation, is described as a gargantuan, octopus-like creature with the ability to sink ships. So, yeah, points for staying on dry land. Hello, Number 5. Incubus Succubus No way. These sensual creatures are to be avoided at all costs. It doesn't matter whether you're invited to bed by an incubus or seduced by a succubus. In either case, a demonic romp in the sheets with them could cost you your health, sanity, or even your very life. Though they might appear attractive at a glance, you should be on the lookout for talons of serpent-like tails. The fear of these beings was so widespread at one point that the church released a guide of at least five ways to avoid the most dangerous hookup of your life. While one evening with an incubus or succubus wasn't always a death sentence, the prospect is so risky that you're better off immediately swiping left. I need you hopeless. Number 4. Werewolves <laughs> Though the monsters that populate myths of old are indeed the stuff of nightmares, few can inspire fear quite like werewolves. Why? Because a werewolf isn't just a vicious creature. It's a vicious creature that you yourself could very well become. The beast within unleashed an uncontrollable animal driven by pure instinct. The concept of werewolves has plagued humankind dating back to the Middle Ages, if not earlier. A human being, after being bitten, cursed, or otherwise afflicted, transforms into a wolf or wolf-like creature. After transforming, most werewolves have no control over their actions and could very well harm those nearest and dearest to them. 
it's terrifying that you could become your own worst nightmare. Number three, Baba Yaga. Which shall it be? The right or the left? Now this will hurt a lot. Are you familiar with this particular witch? If not, you probably actually slept well as a young child. But don't worry, this terrifying creature from Eastern European folklore is scary enough to make up for lost time by robbing you of your sleep now. She lives in a cabin in the woods that stands on two tall chicken legs and rides around in a mortar wielding a pestle. But don't let these eccentricities fool you. Though she can be benevolent at times, she's truly startling to behold given her gnarled witchy appearance. And she's got a well-documented penchant for human flesh. Come, sit, eat. The English have black anise, but Baba Yaga is even worse. Number two, vampires. You see, you can't destroy me with your eyes. They want to suck your blood. Seriously though, while Twilight made them relatively benign and what we do in the shadows made them hilarious, vampires, when stripped of all the modern pop culture baggage, are downright terrifying. Sexy, sometimes. But for centuries, dating back to medieval times, these blood-sucking fiends have been scaring the life out of people. Not just regular vampires, but weird variations like the goat-sucking chupacabra, the ghoulish Naxirer, and the shape-shifting Strigoi. Imagine a creature draining you of your blood in order to temporarily sate its unquenchable thirst. Sure, a nighttime visit from a vampire might sound like an erotic premise, but in application, it would be a most grisly end to your life. I was betrayed. Look what your God has done to me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Mananango. Help. Help me. Help. Help. Never heard of it? Consider yourself lucky for having avoided this pure dose of nightmare fuel as long as you did. We are here to ruin that for you. This walking and flying horror show, hailing from the Philippines, is like a vampire on steroids. It also puts most other creatures on our list to shame with its characteristics. It's a hideous being that is capable of, wait for it, splitting its own body in half. The upper half flies off in search of prey while the creepy bottom just stands there and waits. According to folklore, Manananga like to prey on pregnant women, loving couples, and would-be grooms who never got married. Oh, and did we mention it likes to attack sleeping victims? Sweet dreams. <laughs> Is there a nightmare-inducing creature we missed? Scare us in the comments. He mocks me, and I've had enough! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.